Hello everyone, this is Ravens from Digi Integrative. Welcome to Tech News episode 241. Oppo Reno 7 series poster has been leaked on Weibo, and more live shots of the Oppo Reno 7 series devices emerged ahead of the launch, and it will be launching on November 25th at 6 p.m. in China. The Honor 60 series is coming on November 22nd and the latest teaser by the company CEO himself revealed that the three photos that suggest a special night sky mode. The OEMs has been doing an astral photography models for a while now and it is not surprising for Honor to follow suit. Honor is working to launch two foldable phones before Spring Festival. These two Honor foldable phones, one folds from up and down while the other one folds left and right. Honor has applied two trademarks with the names called as Magic Fold and Magic Wing in Europe, and it is speculated that these forthcoming Honor foldable phones may arrive in these names or could it be the global models as well. Now Realme has officially started hinting about the Realme GT2 Fold. We can expect this phone on quarter 2 of 2022. Apple has got an approval for a patent from the United States Patent and Trademark Office for a dual foldable device. The patent relates to an iPad like and notebook like futuristic product with a foldable display. The futuristic device will be able to go into a joint operating mode where the image splits into two or present data with the one large image. Apple Watch Series 8 is not arriving before September, but information about it has already pouring over the internet. Last month we heard that Watch Series 8 will come in three sizes, and now we are looking at the Watch Series 8 CAD render revealing its design. The only noticeable change in the image we can see that its Watch Series 8 has a pair of speaker grills instead of one. It is also worth noting that the color used here is not part of the lake, but the source claims to have seen that Watch Series 8 is in light green shade similar to the iPad aids Apple has asked its workers to return to offices starting from Feb 1 2022 as a part of hybrid work pilot which will let employees work remotely for 4 weeks a year Apple previously allowed 2 weeks of remote work a year but it's now offering additional 2 weeks now to provide more opportunity to travel be close to your loved ones or simply shake up your routines Looks like from MediaTek the 5 nanometer Dimensity 7000 processor could be approaching very soon. We can expect this processor in the quarter 1 of 2022. MediaTek is on a roll currently and has announced a number of upcoming products for smartphones, iOS devices and Windows laptop during its exclusive summit. And yesterday the chipmaker held a brief session on its Chromebook and PC efforts where the MediaTek 1200 chipset was showcased. MediaTek today lifted the curtains of its new Pentonic Smart TV family of processors with the introduction of Pentonic 2000 chip. It is built on MediaTek's innovative technologies in display, audio, AI, broadcasting and connectivity and will power next generation flagship 8K TVs. The Pentonic 2000 is the world's first commercial TV chip made using TSMC's N7 that is 7 nanometer class processors and this will deliver the next level performance and efficiency and this processor not only support 8K 120 Hz display but can even support 144 hertz gaming PCs and the latest gen consoles Liu Wei being the vice president of Redmi has mentioned on its latest tweet that the Redmi phone will be coming up with the Dimensity 900 processor it will be happening very soon in the coming years A new Motorola smartphone with the Snapdragon 888 Plus processor is launching very very soon in India. The scheduled launch date for the new Moto phone is on 30th November in India and it is totally confirmed Interestingly the OnePlus 9 RT has been listed on the OnePlus RT on the Google supported devices list and the Google Play console listing the same model built has received the BIS certification in the past Looks like Infinix XC21 True Wireless earbuds will be launching in India under the Snooker branding. According to the render images, the design looks too good and this will be the Infinix second True Wireless earbuds in the Indian market. The Google Pixel 6a render show of the complete design. This upcoming Pixel phone gets a punch hole display, dual rear camera and many other features. It includes a 6.2 inch flat display and in display fingerprint sensor. Electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla suffered a worldwide disruption of its app service that resulted in owners of Tesla cars being unable to connect to their vehicles via their application. This seems to be a brief app server outage as the company was able to restore the functionality back within a short while. The phone spy spyware is able to steal crucial data including messages, images and remote control of a device. The Android malware is majoritively active in the US and the Korean markets and this malware has been found affecting 23 Android applications but thankfully none of these associated apps are available on the Google Play Store. 
WhatsApp has released an update for its Android users on the beta channel, which reveals the company is working on a message reaction notification for its Android app. WhatsApp has been developing the message reaction feature for a few months now, which is an evident from the same. This will let users react to messages the same way they react to the posts and comments on the Facebook app. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.